<laughs> no, we so we we ended up putting water in here and there. It's water in there. It's and there's a root beer, soda. bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, cheers, 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 cheers. cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers, cheers, cheers. Yeah. EDC day five, baby. Oh welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. We're we're here in where? What is this town called? The desert. We're in the <laughs> desert. desert. We're on the way to SEMA. Yeah. SEMA 2021, dude. Yeah. We're, this is the crew. We got Dan, Vince, and David here. It's gonna be our first. Simo and I just want to show you the guys the ride that we're whipping around today. Dan's beast of a whip in frozen white matte uh wrap. It's the uh, Tesla <laughs> the model the Tesla Model S plaid. Alright, so this thing is a pre it's a freaking beast. We were we were safely going on the highway at normal speed, but we did <laughs> yeah, we did go on a private road somewhere and we hit this thing pretty 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 hard and yeah it's so lit bro <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing to the charger my car. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rich you don't happy meal toy dude we're taking a break at mcdonald's uh he's deciding what he wants to let's go to the drive dude what do you mean this is pos close and then i don't i don't know how to order from that like cheeky random vince how do i what is it saying to tell me oh yeah it says um <laughs> Can you, you cannot this? use this <laughs> it's been another day and we finally got here kind of late in the afternoon to attend some classes and check out everything here at the sema event we're trying to find where our where the where we get the badges we're so we're pretty lost guys this event is just massive like we're completely lost right now still trying to find our what do you call this our, our the area where you can get your badges and stuff but just the amount of people and the amount of cars everywhere holy there really, there really isn't a better place to be lost though. exactly right all right we finally made it in we had to go all the way to the end of the south hall lower floor to get our freaking badges dude it was ridiculous so we got dropped off literally in the worst place possible so i finally found it Finally found the Venador Roadster with the Centenara rear diffuser. I think it looks freaking sick. More or less, the front end looks like uh, just a, like you know, an SVJ. But then when you go here to the end, and these rims are pretty sick. Look at that, man. It's a Rift exhaust, and the Centenaro style rear diffuser on this thing looks clean as. What the hell? You can literally put like your computer in here. We're here chilling at the Ford booth with my man over here, David, Vince, Dan. And then we're checking out the Mach E's. The Mach E's look pretty sick, and I'm not gonna lie. From the side, it looks kind of like a mini Urus. This Badass. This is the stuff of dreams right here. Exactly. So look how big this wing is. Wang, you could eat dinner on this wing. And then we have this clapped out orange Mach E in a bunch of different freaking lights. <laughs> All right, guys. The moment we've been waiting for, one of the most he's been, been waiting, waiting for. It. Yeah, to see the new Z06 in the flesh. It's a new Z06 with a flat plane V8 with the Z07 package, which is the carbon fiber rims, front diffuser. Wow, there's so much carbon fiber in the interior. I have to say, the interior is remarkable in this white with the orange. Looks so sick. We're here at the Hoonigan like lounge, or I mean Hoonigan outdoor area, Burn and we Burnyard, Burn and we ventured off and saw this Gallardo with a freaking big ass single turbo on this thing. Super, it's a two JZ. Is it? Yeah, it's a two JZ. You see the you holy the nitrous, dude. Holy shit, <laughs> dude! It might explode just looking at it, dude. <laughs> All right, we just finished our time at SEMA, and then now we have the Centenario Roadster and the four five eight. Uh, P no, 488 Pisa, sorry, it wasn't speciality. He drove this all the way from freaking LA to Vegas, and it's a roadster. That's insane. Vanquish Motors on the back. This thing's so rad. Yo, guys, this is pretty lit. So right now, we're in Vidara, and we have this corner room with the monorail right there. So when we venture off into the bathroom, Vince is here. While he's taking a piss, you can... People literally from the monorail can see you do the dirty, man. Uh, wait, how do you open this? There you go. I want to break it. But look, this is pretty lit. Let's do a tour room of the place in Vidara. So first, when you come in, you have a full blown kitchen, which is insane. You have the room to whoever your next door neighbor is, a mirror right here. And you venture off into the living room 
and then Dan's like suddenly teleported between rooms. And there's a freaking washer and dryer, bro. Look at that. Got Dan the man over there. <laughs> Vince is putting uh, gel so he can go Super Saiyan. Yeah, dude. For sure. And my hair's too thick, bro. No, it's not. It's all fucked up. Wait, where are you? What the hell? You were just sitting. So tonight we're gonna gamble and yo. So we're fair ending our first day at SEMA having Din Tai Fung with the boys. This guy freaking literally exploded <laughs> his soy sauce everywhere. But yeah, SEMA day one was absolutely crazy. Thank you so much. Oh no, you're good. You wanna be in the vlog too? <laughs> yeah. So SEMA day one was absolutely insane. And uh, having been there like for the first time, just like getting to see, seeing the whole aftermarket industry is pretty rad. Pretty much definitely giving, give you kind of like a new perspective of like how vast and how massive the car industry really is. We finally made our way to the Inozo Tech booth and it's incredible that just the wrap literally looks like paint. And then when you get closer, it's so hard to tell unless you go to like the little corners, but still. Even then, it looks crazy. Like, look at that. It literally looks like paint. Even this is a... Uh, it's wrapped. It's a wrapped carbon fiber, and it looks legit. You can only tell because it doesn't have that three-dimensional look that real carbon fiber has. So, I don't know if we're going to have enough time to go back to the Z06 and the other stuff, but we're here with the all-new Nissan Z in the flesh. Uh, in the pictures, it looks pretty boxy, but the back looks pretty sick. Coming around from the front now, they got another Fair Lady Z over here, and then, eh, kind of whatever. Yo, so we finally found it. We finally found the thing I've been trying to look for, which is the Bugatti Devo Ladybug right here. So apparently, David was telling me, it took two years just to get the paint and the design all done up and everything, which is insane. The interior on this thing looks incredible. That anodized metal right there on the central dash and in the steering wheel okay looks incredible this is awesome this sounds so good Bye, Damon. One, two, three. Bye, Damon. What's up, guys? We're on day. What is it? Four? Three? Dude, I think three. I lost track of time. We're, we're day three of the SEMA thing. So. But SEMA ended the other day. We actually went to SEMA this morning for just like an hour to get a COVID test because, because we're here at the airport going to freaking, okay, I can't zoom in, but we're going to freaking Mexico, Mexico. for the F1 race. So huge. All right, Quattro. Quattro. All right, we gotta go. Dude, this is crazy. It's insane, man. We're here at the Hyatt Regency. Uh, Hyatt Regency. Regency down in Mexico City. This place is sick. Some of the Formula One drivers uh, are staying here, I think, because we saw one of them. Antonio and Antonio Giovinazzi. So David actually came across like two, two F1 tickets. And, he came uh, across. Came across, yeah. And very last minute, we we were already in Vegas. Like for already, SEMA. fully committed. Yeah, we, we, were, we were thinking about staying until Sunday, but then he came across two tickets and they were like, yo, like, do you want to do this? Like, yes or no? And like, pretty much on the spot, I said like, hell yeah, we're going to do this. So this is going to be our first F1 race. Within together. 20 minutes, we had hotel, yeah. plane, and our tickets to the race. That's really good. First time here in Mexico City. First, first time in a Formula One race. First time in a Formula One race. And first time traveling internationally together. Together. And then, uh, yeah, just first time there's a lot of first times so we stopping by one of the hotels near our hotel and they have this it's an f1 shell and it's all like crystallized and stuff and they have these they're sick 
All right, so we got our little taste of home here in Mexico City. We're just walking around. This guy ended up getting a pink McLaren hat and it looks pretty freaking sick. We haven't spotted a lot of cars yet. There was like a Porsche GTS, 911 GTS. There's a GLE 63. There's a GLE 63. There was a Tesla dealership. We're walking to the Ferrari dealership now. But yeah, um, life here is so different. I love how everyone's like out and like walking around and eating outside. But when it comes to like getting a drink, for example, like they give you bottled drinks and they show, they show you when they give it to you that it's still sealed in the container. Just insane. Yeah, but it's it's beautiful out there. The weather here is nice. Absolutely it's perfect. It's perfect. It's not humid or anything right now. I think it's just because of this time of year. But yeah, Polanco. I mean, straight up, look at this fool. He's in shorts and a t-shirt and I'm in pants. So we're currently on the way to the F1 track. Good morning, y'all. So Good morning, y'all. <laughs> this, uh, this guy is like super excited. He has his McLaren pink hat with his Pagani black polo. So totally the right com uh, combo we're right now we're in a freaking armored car where this where the glass is literally like the size five layers thick like five layers thick it's like an inch or like how thick you think I can't put the windows down but no, but nor do I want to right now because uh, it's kind of hot and spicy outside but the traffic here is just redonkulous you got a whole SWAT team coming up from behind too <laughs> but we're almost there I think we're like what 10 minutes away or something <laughs> At best. At best, yeah. The traffic literally bumper the bumper. The city's going wild. So many people in like F1 gear too. And F1 stuff that we bought yesterday, ridiculous. So I bought this jacket too. <laughs> literally 350 bucks for this thing. It's ridiculous. Which equates to like 7,000 uh, pesos. pesos. You love that jacket. Suit? Oh, I, I love that jacket. <laughs> and then, so I'll fill you guys in once we get over there and we get situated because I really don't know what to expect. I mean, the traffic is just ridiculous. And you can see like there's people on the street already like walking towards the F1 track with like F1 gear and stuff. I can't even imagine where you would park to be over here right now. But we're not parking. Exactly. So we're currently in line for the for the to get, to get inside the F1 track, and it's ridiculous. Like I don't even know how everybody knows where exactly where they go, but we're just, know where we're, going. we're just asking questions and seeing like who knows like where they go exactly. So we're here in the cash line. So apparently here you have to go through this line first, load up like a debit card type of thing with your own credit card so that you can even just buy drinks or whatever the hell else. I think with the store you can buy it straight with your card. But this with place like is just cashless society. Yeah, it's just kinda dumb. But it's like we everyone has like their their debit card anyway, so I don't understand why they would have to load up a card, but whatever. So our section's like right there. Oh boy, we're here, boy. We ladies, are here, ladies boy. And gentlemen, boys and girls are finally here in the stands. We're in section 22, seats 9 and 10. So we are at the end. The pit lane, it's actually right there, so we can see everybody come through here when they go through. Hopefully see some cool passing stuff. First, remember, this is the first F1 event, actually for me and this guy, but this is the first time I'm actually watching F1 in general. Like, this is absolutely insane. This, it, the whole crowd is uh, starting to get pretty lit every time Treko like, passes by. <laughs> Here at lap 42 out of 71. Technically, it's 43 because there's so many people just rolling. Who's, who's first right now? Max Versace? Yep. Max is first, second Hamilton, Checo's third. The tires are melting, we're melting, it's gonna be great. Let's go! 